everyone welcome to today's video I'm sorry if this seems a little bit more rushed than usual I know I talk pretty fast my camera has been very uncooperative today this is the third time I'm filming it and needed to charge so I only had it in there for like 15 minutes so I'm hoping I can make it through so this week we are talking about the rare types of EDS on Monday Kayla spoke to you about kyphoscoliosis and today I'm going to talk to you about the other two rare types of EDS all the information that I'm going to be giving you, I got right off the EDNF website. The website goes a lot more in-depth than what I'm going to be giving you, so if you want to know more, you can go to ednf.org and look for their section on the rarer types of EDS. To start, I'm going to talk about arthrochalasia, which is formerly known as type 7 A and B. So the symptoms of this type of EDS are congenital hip dislocations, severe joint hypermobility with subluxations, skin hyperextensibility, easy bruising, muscle hypotonia, and, kyphosco and kyphoscoliosis. In the genetics or the basis behind this type of EDS include, it is a result of, muta of a mutation that leads to deficient processing of, amino, of the amino terminal end of the PROA1A or the PROA2B chains of collagen type 1. And a quick little side note here, one thing that I learned at the conference last summer why we don't use the number system anymore for the types of EDS is that people were getting confused with the numbered types of collagen. So for instance, you would have classical type, which is formerly known as types 1 and 2, and then you have collagens types 1 and 2, and I'm probably there's probably more. So in writing, it, people would be getting confused seeing like EDS1, and would they know if it was type, type 1 or the type of collagen. So that's why we go by the names of EDS now. So, little side note over with and moving on, this type of EDS is autosomal dominant and it can be tested for and diagnosed by a skin biopsy. So to wrap this up, I'm going to move on to the last type of rare EDS, which is dermatospraxis, which is formerly known as type 7C. And the symptoms for this type include severe skin fragility, substantial bruising, soft doughy skin, and large hernias such as inguinal and umbilical. And the genetics behind this type of EDS are it is a deficiency of the procollagen 1 and terminal peptidase and this type is autosomal recessive and it can be tested for using a skin biopsy. So I know I just kind of breezed through that but I really don't want to have to record this a fourth time so I'm trying to beat my camera. But like I said all this information I got right off the EDNF website so you can go check it out and read more for yourself and learn a little bit more as well. And on another quick note, I just wanted to say there might be a little bit of a bonus video for you next week. As I mentioned a couple videos ago, I'm going to be baking something, because that's one of my hobbies, that's what I do, I run a food blog. For this month being EDS Awareness Month, I have decided what I'm going to do, I'm just working out a few more things, trying to figure out how I'm going to frost this little confection. Yes, there will be frosting involved. How else am I going to make it look zebra? So I've decided to film it the best I can with this finicky little camera and I'm going to have a little bit of a baking bonus video for you. Hopefully next week. I'm hoping to obviously bake and film next week and try and get this up for you by at least by the end of the month. I'm shooting for next week. Maybe next weekend. I don't know. So and also the next time you see me I will have different hair so that'll be another fun thing for you to look forward to. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope I went in depth enough for you. Please you know, like, comment, subscribe, share this video with everyone. We enjoy hearing your feedback. Send us questions because next week is a Q&A week. I'm so sorry. I sound like I'm like running a marathon, running. I can't, I really can't breathe today. Rushing through this, but I really don't want to have to film this for a fourth time. So I'm sorry this was so rushed. I'll be better prepared in the future. I'm hoping to get a better camera soon and send us your questions so we have something to talk about for next week's Q&A week. I hope you have something awesome planned this weekend. The weather has gotten better by me, so go outside and if the weather is nice by you and enjoy it. And I will see you next week. Bye!